I want to teach you how to use rubrics in Schoology. So here I have an assignment turned in by a student on, and this is a Google Drive assignment through Schoology. Now, typically when I grade these assignments, I can click on each individual student and come up here, add a score, add a comment, and share to the gradebook. But I often find myself repeating the same comment over and over because I find similar mistakes between students. Now, wouldn't it be great if I had a rubric that I can choose from? Well, that's what I want to teach you right now. Rubrics are really useful because not only does it save me the teacher time when grading, it also provides equitable feedback between students. Not only that, I can use this rubric in, rubric in many classes, not just my own. I can share it among my cohorts, so we're all being fair and equitable between the different courses. So let me go back to my course, and I'm going to go ahead and create a rubric. If I go to the grade setup, there's an area in the upper right hand corner that says scales and rubrics. If I click rubric, this shows me all of the rubrics that I've created and allows me to create new rubrics as well. I can click add and choose rubric. Now here's a rubric that I've previously created. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it looks like. Here I can add the name. I can designate the different criteria. I can even add more criteria if I needed to. And I can change the amount of points each of them are worth. Once I create this rubric, I can save it to my resources. This means that I can use this rubric over and over and over again from year to year in different sections. I can also share and collaborate in my resources with my different science instructors. I can also right now copy it to different courses as if I'm gonna use this rubric right now in different courses and sections. All right, going back to my materials, I'm gonna add this rubric to my assignment. Here's that lab. If I click the little cog and click edit, I can go ahead and choose a different scale or rubric in this section. Typically, by default, it's numeric, but if I click the down menu, then I have a couple options. Here's the lab pulling from my grade setup rubric, but I can also create new rubrics here, which will also appear in my grade setup. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my lab and have it show to my students. But having it show to your students allows your students to see and know what's on the rubric as they're doing the assignment, so they know to do it right the first time. Once I click Save Changes and go back to my assignment, you'll see how my submissions and my assignment entry changes a little bit. It still works the same way, but now it has a rubric attached to it that I can quickly choose each section, how well they did on each of those different criteria. I'm still able to add individual comments if I wanted to and click Save. So what does this look like to a student? Let's take a look at the lens of a student through Schoology. If I go to View Course As and choose the student, what they can do is they can go into that lab assignment and see that score. But an easier way to do that would be to use the grade section. Because I made this a graded assignment, it appears in the grade section on Schoology. So here in the labs and projects category, there's that lab that was just graded by the teacher. Notice here are the individual comments that are special to that lab. And then it shows whether the assignment was submitted with a little paper icon, as well as the score. Now this little box right here with the squares, that student can click on and see the criteria and how well they did on each of the sections of that rubric. I hope this was super beneficial and I encourage you to try to use rubrics in a lot of your assignments. Good luck!